and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to dive into the world of a MariaDB replication. If you are looking to enhance a fault tolerance and scalability of your database system, replication is an essential feature you will want to master. In this step-by-step -step guide, I will walk you the process of setting MariaDB replication from start to finish. So, let's get started. Before we dive to the configuration, let's ensure we have all prerequisites in place. You will need at least two MariaDB servers installed and running. For master, I will use server from previous video. If you have not seen it, please check it on the link in the description. And for slave, we will set up new one. Also, it's crucial to have a stable network connection, including open database ports between these servers to facilitate data synchronization and ensure reliable replication. So, let's configure a master server. I would recommend to create a folder on a separate mount point. So, we'll use command sudo make dir and I'll use mount and let's say db replication. So we got created folder. It's here. So the next we'll do and we'll create a bindle configuration file for MariaDB. So it's usually config files are uh, in etc MySQL MariaDB.conf. So let's go here. Let's check what else we have. So we have several files here also. Uh, let's create some config file. Let's say replication.cnv. So in this file, it will add some basic configuration things. So we'll set a MariaDB config file. We set server ID, which should be unique. In this case, we'll add one. We put the log bin location, which is on our new one point. We say that we'll keep logs for five days and max bin log size 100 megabytes. And bin log its format is mixed. Uh, you can change this settings by your requirements. But for us, it should be fine. So let's save it. So next, let's create dedicated replication user on the master server. This user will be used by the slave server to connect and replicate data. We will use MariaDB command line to create a user with necessary privileges. So let's go to MySQL, which is Maria in this case. We will create a user which is replication user and we're limiting to a single IP, which is in our case will be slave server and then divided by a password. So let's could create some strong password also here. We'll use for this now this one. So also let's grant replication slave on and this user permissions. As we test for permissions, let's flush for privileges. Uh, one more thing what it makes sense to check for us is let's exit the first this one is where our database is listening. So we do we could do if let's start LPN for example, standard port is 3306. Uh, and we notice it which is saying 127001, which means it's just listening locally. So when we talk about replication we need also to let it connect remotely. So usually we have this config also in the same folder, etc mysql mariadb conf, and it's normally in server log, server config file. So let's try to check it. So 50 server conf. And yeah, we see this bind address. So that's actually it's saying to listen on this, this one. So what we do, we just comment. And in this case, it will be listening on all IPs. Let's save it. 
Okay, let's check also what user our databases will be running or it's running. It's just to make sure that they have permissions set correctly. So we'll check on the service itself. Uh, let's look for user. Okay, you see it's MySQL and the group MySQL. So let's put the correct owner then on our new, newly created uh, folder that it would has access to put this bin log files. So we do change owner with MySQL user and group on db replication. Good. So as we also enable bin log and we did some other changes we do to, to restart the database. So let's do sudo system ctl restart MariaDB sudo system ctl status MariaDB Okay, you see it's active and it's running. That's good. So let's go from out. Also, if you would check now, we probably would see some new files created. TP replication. Okay, already there are some. That's good. So as we have master part partial done, let's go to a slave server. I have switched on a server which I have prepared. So currently it has no database. So let's quickly go and install. So as always, before starting something, let's make sure it's up to date. So we do just update. Also we'll do upgrade, but it looks nothing to upgrade anyway. Good, and now let's install the database. It will be install Maria TB server. Some packages we say yes. Let's give a couple of seconds to finish installation. Good. So let's do run secure installation. As always, let's put the password. Let me quickly find it. Root password. Okay, switch to Unix. Let's do no it this time. Change root password no. Remove anonymous users, yes. This allow root login remotely, yes. Remove test database, yes. And reload privileges table. Good. So let's check. Sudo system ctl status MariaDB. Okay, it's up and running. That's good. So let's configure also the part of bin log here for a replication partner. So we usually do also in the same location as master. So we normally DC, MySQL, MariaDB. Let's check what we have here. We have some config files. So we basically just will create new. I'll name the same replication CNV. Uh, in this case, we don't need much here, so we say just logbin and server id2, in this case unique, because the master was 1, this one is 2, so we are unique. Let's save it. Good. So just restart the database as we did change on, on configuration. So we do sudo system ctl restart mariadb. Okay, let's just check the status. Good, it's up and running. Power done. So both servers is configured, it's time to initiate replication. 
So in general, what you have to do is on master server, create the backup and copy the backup to the slave site, import backup and run it. So let's switch to the master node then. What we'll do now, if I just go to somewhere like home user, and let's do sudo maria db dump. We say give me all databases and we include master data equal one. This one gives the command change master com, uh, command it's in the backup of config file so it will mark the point where the backup is finished. And we put on uh, let's say tmp all databases sql just make sure that you're aware that this command could stop it application because it's locking the tables so in that moment if the database is bigger it could be prevent writing to the database good so we got created uh, export or backup of database Let's copy this file to our slave server. Yes. I need password. Okay, cool. Let's copy it. What we'll do now, actually, we'll go to the slave server and do a restore of it. So let's switch to the slave server. Let's go to DMP should have a file here. So let's go to MySQL. Let's point now our slave to tell where is a master. We do that with change master to saying master host where it is, providing the username which we set a password, port, and retry. Good, that's set. With that we go back. Now we'll try to restore the backup. So we do sudo maria db showing that we come and here go all databases. That would take a couple of minutes. Depends on your size of a database backup. Okay, that's done. So let's go again to MySQL and let's start slave. It should start replication. So far looks good. So let's check the status show slave status and for good visibility we put G. Good. So we see slave has read all rely logs waiting for more updates that sounds good we also if it see we see the slave i running a slave sql running yes that also sounds good another interesting what we have it's uh, seconds behind master and we see zero that means this thing happening right away so what we could do also we just check show databases we see the Abix database is here. So let's go that one, show tables. And we see tables also here. We are successfully set up MariaDB standard replication. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or topics you would like to discuss or for any future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. Until next time, happy replicating!